I've written a book called The Peace God Promises, Closing the Gap Between What You Experience and What You Long For. And I have to tell you, uh, when I started writing this book, my motivation was very, very personal. Uh, because I'm the mother of two uh, wonderful young girls, a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old, and I'm single. I adopted both of my girls from China when they were babies. I run my own business. Uh, I'm just as frantic as everybody else running around in this very frantic world. And I came to a point in my life where I said, there's got to be a way that I can experience this peace that God promises. You know, think about that scripture from Isaiah 66. I think it's quite well known. It's, uh, thou dost keep in perfect peace the person whose mind is stayed on thee. And yet, I wonder how far we are from experiencing that peace that God promises. So I wanted to really dig in and learn more about what is it that God promises and what are the disciplines that I could um, add to my life or perhaps things I could subtract from my life that would give me a more day-to-day -day experience of God's peace. So I do this really as an exploration. I don't feel like I'm an expert in this, but I want to take you along with me on my journey to look at some of the aspects of, of God's peace and what it means to have more peace in our life. One of the things that I discovered is that the biblical word shalom, the Hebrew word shalom, is so much more muscular than the English word peace. You know, when we think of peace, a lot of us think of, oh my gosh, if I could just have a vacation, if I could go to the spa, if I could just sit down for a minute, um, if I could just experience an absence of conflict, you know, that's what we think peace is. But shalom is that, and it's so much more. You know, it, it's all about healing, it's about wholeness, it's even about having a sense of prosperity in your life. There's almost this whiff of paradise in the world, shalom. Well, what is it that God is promising us? As you read this book and as you kind of delve into this whole rich topic of God's peace that you're going to come away with a much deeper experience of this peace that God promises, so that it not it isn't just an idea, it isn't just some kind of ethereal promise, but that it's something that you live out daily and experience in your own life.